Hey, my peoples, happy new year to you. You, you see, we have a new set and everything. We, I told you on the last podcast that we will come brand spanking new in 2023. So here we are. We are now on the new set of On The Mic with the M. Auntie. Hey, again, I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. I hope you didn't drink too much, didn't eat too much, and that you're now ready for the information that we're going to give you for 2023, and we're going to give you a lot of information this year. A whole lot of new things are going to happen this year, too. So um, we just want to say thank you and welcome back. And T, today I'm going to, I want to talk about... What are we talking about? Here's a question. Women. <laughs> Uh-huh. What the fuck do you want? Do you want a baby boy or do you want a real man? That's how you're going to start us off with the new year. Hell yeah. I wanna, <laughs> I'm damn that. I'm tired of bullshit. Women, I want this. I want that. But then you see what you're hanging out with. You ain't want some, some sorry son of a bitch that you shouldn't even bring him in the house. You yeah, should be okay. putting him straight. You okay. should be taking it to some damn SPCA and drop his ass off there and let somebody retrain his goofy ass and, and so he can come out and be a respectable man or, or manish or something, but this shit is ridiculous. I, what fired the fuck? Up. You're yeah, fired I'm up pissed today. off. I'm like fucking pissed up. off. I'm pissed off because you got women who are real, you know, I can change him. He ain't that bad. He fucked up. You know he fucked up. But you want to, I want to put my little twist on him. Fuck that. If, look at him and say, okay, he's going to be something. He's going to be a project. And am I in the <laughs> position a of a fucking a project. project? And am I going to spend the time and the effort to see this project through because you know during the process mm -hmm. this project gonna make you mad it's gonna piss you off and you're gonna ask yourself so why am i investing so much time and effort in into this project when you should really invest that fucking time into yourself so you're not dealing with projects and you really know what the hell you want I, i'm just saying that Ouch. invest in your goddamn self. so you solved the whole problem right there my thing is why are we still what? talking in 2023 with the internet Google, all this shit. They got yeah. more information than they ever had in their entire goddamn lives. And they still can't make a good decision when it comes to a fucking man. The good decisions don't even, don't even feel good. <laughs> they don't hold them at night. They don't feel the same. It, okay. I, I'm just, that's just what I'm assuming. It can't. It can't. But they God. say good guys always finish last. It, yeah, but mm, goddamn. They want a bad boy. Come on, are they tired of putting boy. money on their on their shit at, in jail? Are they tired of the phone calls? A uh, phone call inmate. I didn't know they were jailbirds. Why? Okay, <laughs> uh, maybe okay, maybe they didn't quite have enough initiative to become a jailbird. That means you got to fucking get out the house, <laughs> stop playing fucking video games, and stop sitting around eating all the food, <laughs> and, and and stop living off her using her car and shit. Going while she at work, baby boy. Going riding around, oh. seeing your other baby boyfriends. I almost forgot how it went. Yes. And so again, like, that's she, a classic. Yes, and oh. it's sad. We should be talking about that shit like gone to win. Like, oh yeah, I, me I remember like that. Not well, not us, but like a past. <laughs> but yeah, like I remember how it used to be back in the nineteen eighteen. Mm -hmm. No, that shit in eighteen something. That's last year. We still talk. That movie was made in nineteen ninety five, maybe. No, and I swear <laughs> it was not. What movie? It's uh, Baby Boy. That, oh, that movie it, had to be made in eighty yes, five. <laughs> well, and, and listen, Gone with the Wind. That shit was made in nineteen thirty seven. Nineteen. Okay. So, so you see people. Oh, I, I like that time, but you know, but people have their own reasons why they like Gone with the Wind, and that's a fucked up movie. But that's okay, another okay. story for another day. Baby Boy. It's something that communities are dealing with today. It's with punk ass men, boys, yeah, who want to live off other people, live off other women, and then somehow, some way, these women feel obligated to to find themselves a guy like this because they want to be, <laughs> they, <laughs> they want a project. <laughs> they just find people who are useless. Obviously, it's bad, but I think you just get what you what's available, like. God damn! We both, we both had the same face. Wow! <laughs> oh, no, wow! There's more than these guys who are available. Good the, Lord! I think they're the fun guys. I think they're the guys who have more fun. They're more available. They're not working all this overtime. Their job's not stressing them out. I mean, they're more fun. That's the only thing I could assume. 
you must have a lot of fun taking care of a motherfucker <laughs> having to depend on your goddamn taxes. All I'm saying is, is I, I can't see. Did you if just I, I say pay, claim them on the taxes? Claim that some bitch on it's your that fucking season. taxes. Yeah, claim his ass. Mm-hmm. Because I guarantee you, he ain't got no W-2. Wow. He ain't got no 1099. Wow. He, ain't got <laughs> he got no shit. gigs and no he job. He got no gigs, no job, no Uber, no no Uber Eats, no none of that shit. Oh, he's just living off of your ass. But you, and, but he's fun though. Oh, that's huh. real fun. Every time, baby, can Does I he... borrow a few dollars? Can I go, I go get get some something to eat while you go on work. You know, you ain't need the money last time. I need some money for this time. You know, you know, I love you and everything. Hey. Okay, here you go. Here for some stuff. Yeah, I don't want to be. I don't want to do that. <laughs> You know, yo, you know women, women out here talking about, I want to find a good guy. I want to find a, a top-notch guy. I want to <sighs> find a level three man. But you're doing all this fuck shit okay. to get a bum. Okay, let's start with num- rule number one. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's not bo- move anyone in. Can we start oh, there? Oh, Jesus. Because that's basically how you avoid baby boy. Yes. Like, yes. if we created a guide mm-hmm. on how to avoid the baby boys in life, because technically the baby boys are only babies because we're enabling them. Yes. Right? Like yes. you don't have to pay rent because you found someone else whose home you can just kind of live at and you don't really have to be responsible for maintaining a job to pay the rent, right? And you have a driver's license, but you don't really afford car insurance. But sometimes you have a job, but like not all the time. So you don't really afford car insurance. <laughs> like, you know, this is the, this is a behavior that's enabled. So like let's let's go with the rules. Rule number one. Yes, that's <laughs> don't that, move him in. Yeah, but and, and the thing is, you can't fall in love with a guy that quick to want to move him into your world in the first place. Because if you if you met a guy mm-hmm. and two three weeks later, I'm, and I'm using two or three weeks, and all of a sudden I think he may be the one. Hold on, love. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> now, now, if you found a guy <laughs> and you said I want to move him in in a few weeks or a few months because Anything other than love, mm-hmm. that's your business. Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what you're not going to pretend like is you moving him in in a few weeks because you love him, and that's going to be the one. After hey. all the other ones, wasn't the one. Oh, he different though. Nah, you got to vet him a little bit longer though. <laughs> I don't care how different he is. We got to vet just a little bit longer. That's all I'm saying. It's 2023. I, yes, you you want to do better. You don't want to just look at him and just say you know he looks good, he smells good. Or you don't want to catch a feel. Some no. people like to go off the feelings and the vibes and the energy. Nah, nah, the energy lie. <laughs> the energy don't pay no bills. <laughs> no, no. So energy don't, don't play shit. <laughs> BG and E's energy, but you got to pay for that shit. Yeah, so, so don't be like, oh, I mean, with the energy between us is just, yes. No, that's not love. No. Mm-hmm. And, and, you and get even caught. if it is love, I still need to vet you a little bit longer. Yeah, you got to take people what they say through the seasons. Through everything, kind of see how they gonna be. Yeah, you you have to because I mean, goddamn. First of all, if any guy, I'm gonna say this, say this, if any guy that you met is so quick to move in with you, that sh- fucking should tell you a lot. I can yeah. one better. That's any right. person is willing to move in with you that quick. Oh my isn't, god! Isn't, isn't there a song about the girl? <laughs> be like, oh no, she trying to fall asleep. She gonna try to stay for a week. <laughs> like it does. Yes. It does go both ways. It honestly yes. does go both ways. Yes. And if in a few weeks that woman is the love of your life, and you move her in, baby, don't talk to us next year when she got your baby and you talking about some she don't oh. cook nor clean. We know. Oh. We actually knew that she didn't do either one of those things. Yeah, like, this is very damn problem true. is that you knew that too, and you still said, "Nah, I'm gonna make her my everything." You didn't like God. ask her to do any of those things before you gave her everything. Uh, exactly, and, and for you, you'd ask yourself like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 how fucking desperate am I?" That person I just met said she don't mind or he don't mind moving in with me, and I'm like, "Oh, okay, I think we can get to get along together. I can get used to her." You don't fucking know her. Yeah. Can you, can you do a background check? Can you Google her? Just see if she ain't got no criminal record. Or no, and Google and pay the money after you Google. 
Yeah, yeah, you need to use a service, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, Y'all yeah. Y'all stop yeah. just using Google by themselves, no, okay? No, no, spend And I money. don't know how much it is, $1.90, just a trial. Just a yes, trial. Yes, that's all you, you need. You know, a little $1.95, three, I don't know how much it costs. Okay? Five dollars, I guarantee you can probably find any information you need to know. Producer. Producer, maximum five dollars. five dollars spent via the internet, you're going to find out everything. Five dollars today <laughs> can save you 18 years of your life. <laughs> They want to talk about those little kids in Africa, like, oh, babe, you get 30 cents a day, yeah. you go spot yourself a kid in Africa, yep. Yep. $5 could save you 18 years if you just, just $5. That's it. Just $5. Let's do the research. Because you're Damn. right. You're going to be vested in somebody for 18 minimum years. Ooh. Minimum. That's a minimum. That's a long goddamn time, Now, let's time say we, your child gets married or something. No, we got to keep looking at you from across the room. Yep. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, sure I keep looking. At, yeah, so you be real careful who you signing up with. Because <sighs> you are technically, when you're moving in with somebody, the chances of you having a baby with that person have increased drastically. Exactly. And, and, and the other thing is, once they move in, all of a sudden, you're going to see this shift. It's going to be a, a, a paradigm shift because she's going to come in there and she's going to say everything she can do. And you're like, oh, are you happy and everything? Because, mm-hmm. you know, you're starting to get everything. Yeah. And then it's going to be a shift. Yeah. You're going to start looking around your house like, damn, she don't paint the wall. She don't change this. She don't change that. <laughs> Fuck. She don't took Oh, shit, my car set. Oh, that's childish. You don't need that. Mm-hmm. You got me now. You don't need no child set. Mm-hmm. Put, where my shit at? Mm-hmm. Oh, I put it in the closet. We're going to give it to Goodwill or something. You don't need that shit. Now she's trying to change you in your own fucking house. And you're like, oh, in her Whoa. house. Oh, yeah. I, I, you're right. You did. She did change it because since she's changing, it, it's going to be her house now. I mean. Mm-hmm. And you allowed it. You allow it. Because you you love her or you have lust for her. And she, <laughs> now she's changing your fucking life. And you're like, oh, I ain't asked for all this. I, I thought we was just going to kick it. You know, and then we're going to figure it out. Well, first of all, when you moved her fucking asses to your house, you should realize you're not just kicking it anymore. It's one thing. You meet at her house, she meet at your house, and y'all go back and forth and back and forth. Maybe she may stay over your house. Yeah. You may stay over her house. Yeah. But you'll get up and you, you'll yeah. go. But that moving shit? Yeah. Oh, hell no. And then you define it as just kicking it. Y'all yeah. realize people move in and be like, no, nah, we just kicking it. No, y'all moved in together. Kicking it. <laughs> <laughs> kicking it. Oh, we just kicking y'all it. Y'all playing. We call that playing house. That's literally playing house. And, and, and it all, it never... 90%, I'm going to say 95% of the time, it doesn't go well. Because the moment you start co-mingling shit, see, you, you want to be married without being married. Oh, that's what's happening. That's yeah, why yeah, we're doing you, it. You want, oh, okay. you want a sample, but you don't want to. Yeah. I want to walk. It's like going to um, Sam's Club. You have the little sampler <laughs> things. You walk around. You said, damn, that pretzel shit look good. Mm-hmm. I don't want to really Buy the box. Yeah, I don't want the fifteen ninety eight box. No, nah, yeah. let me sample it for a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna ask a question that might throw a monkey wrench in this conversation, but it might expand it. Who knows? What would you say to somebody who would say you would never actually get to know somebody until you live with them? That's some bullshit. Yeah. I'm gonna say that. That's really bullshit. Because the thing is, we look at the human history. Mm-hmm. We look at everybody who's been married. Me and you, mm-hmm. we married, been married for a long time. You're you at least want to get to know the person before you start to want to bring them into your world or, or have them move into you. I don't know. The thing is, everybody looks based off everything off of looks. Mm-hmm. You don't think, well, well, this bitch could be a psychopath, but she look good. <laughs> she, I know she, she may be crazy, but she, I know she got some good pussy though. But she crazy though. But until she get in your house, then the good pussy is gone, and then the crazy bitch is there. And you're like, oh, I didn't see all this. Well, if you had taken just a little time mm-hmm. and say, you know what? I do like her. She's pretty. She's beautiful. Let me just take some time yeah. to get to know who she is. And not just, you know, what you do for a living. Mm-hmm. You know, what kind, what size you are. No, fuck all that. What do you want to do with your life? And, and pretty much if she's honest with you, you can kind of say, well, that's within what I want to do or not within what I want to do. So that makes you dig a little deeper. Yeah. Everybody's so superficial now that everybody just want to go ahead and just base it on what you see. And then what, it can't be that bad. She looked good. So we can work it out. Same thing with, mm-hmm. I'm assuming women. He looks good. Whatever he has, I, it's not that bad. You, don't, you know, Don Will, we ain't saying that. He looks good. <laughs> <laughs> he looks good. Well, we're looking at you. Some like, other <laughs> things that better be good. Nah, okay. not, remember, we value stuff differently. <laughs> that, that's yeah, true. Uh-huh, that is very uh-huh. true. For clarification's sake, yeah. we value it different. But yeah, something has to 
make a sign up and say we'll fix it later. Absolutely. And, 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 and for me, it's like people are so quick to just, it's the instant gratification that fucks me up nowadays. That shit pisses me off because everybody wants thing quick. I want to be rich quick. I want to be this quick. I want to be, I want to have a fat ass, big titties and big dick and all that stuff. I want it quick. I want to go to surgery. I want to take a pill. You know, man cannot change the size of their dick. You know, right now they got shit out there get surgery. You got to have some fat. Take the fat off your stomach and put it in your dick. Make it big. <laughs> <laughs> The motherfucker out there promoting. They talk about you a little band. I can help you be a big band. Just come to me. I shoot some stuff in your shit. Take some fat at your back and put it <laughs> off your stomach. That, if that was real, that man would make a killer. That motherfucker is. It's a dude that does that shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you some real shit, y'all. I'm telling you, it's a dude that take fat out your out your stomach and out your back and put it in your dick. And then what? Then that's supposed to make it. Does it does it grow naturally still? Like does, like now, it what the guy says is it's supposed then. to make it based on how the fat is. It can make it definitely wider and definitely longer based on how the fat. And it still grows and like mm -hmm. operates normally. Yeah, because a lot of guys are are a little a little when it comes to that. So they're like, I need enhancement. Mm -hmm. So they're thinking about like women to do BBLs. There's men that go to doctors that will literally transfer fat from different parts of their body and shoot it down there. I, I, there ain't no problem with that. I see no issue with that. If women can if women can change their entire bodies, this, you can look like a completely different person as a woman. Really? By <laughs> will. <laughs> These niggas, niggas get one thing. You bad because a nigga get one thing. Really? If a, nigga wanna go from four <laughs> if a nigga goes from four to six inches, you mad at him for wanting to go from four to six inches. No, I wanna know how long it's gonna last for though. Is it last well, for a lifetime? Well, it lasts. It lasts as long as you have, you know, fat. It, the fat stays down there, but it, I think it, every once in a while. So the older you get, you need to you get it. Touch it you gotta yeah. touch it, take because again, <laughs> for most. Of but same thing with the BBL. I would think like your butts are gonna like your okay, BBL looks yeah, good at twenty seven. Yeah. Like your yeah. BBLs are gonna go look good at fifty seven. Yeah. No, like, you have to touch it up at some point. <laughs> That's you gonna have you gonna have a BBL to get a man, yeah. and then he gonna give you pipe, and uh -huh. then you gonna get pregnant, which is you gonna get a belly, mm -hmm. and you gonna get all that fat that you lost, you gonna get it right back. So my thinking is your BBL is gonna go to shit too. Logically speaking, you would have wow. to. Oh, wow. So you would have to get it touched up again. You would logically you speaking because your you're right, your skin will stretch. I thought you supposed to maintain those in the gym. Shit. You would think. I mean. <laughs> I can tell you, I'm in this fucking gym, what, four days a week? You don't see them type of women? I don't see them kind of women. No. Fuck no. no. I no. never see those kind of oh. fucking women. I walk in there. I, the women I see in there, you can look at them and see they're naturally built. And, uh -huh. they, and they work at to hit the weights to do all the stuff, to do all the cardio and shit. I never, 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 never seen a chick with a BBL in the fucking gym. Okay. Yeah, they always cross the hall buying some dress to cup to, to H &M. Yep, H and M showing their ass talking about, <laughs> I'm about to suck spam my ass so somebody can see my ass. But but the other women are in the fucking gym sweating and, and just in there, you know, one, two, one, two, and they're in there working out. And I I respect them women because they ain't out there trying, I'm gonna have a surgery change my body. These women say, fuck that. I'm putting the work in. And that's that's the thing. <sighs> People don't want to put the fucking work in to be the best they can. Everybody want to fucking. But those women said that surgery was the work. They said that was the work. But they have, but the recovery was the you work. You put the work in to get a BBL because you have to go to. You would have to go to work. You have to save up the money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Then you have to get the. You have to find the doctor. <laughs> If you're doing it right, you have to find the doctor. That's true. Putting in the and work. Then you yeah. would have to make sure that, like, all your aftercare is set up. Mm -hmm. Then you get the surgery. Then you have to make sure. So, theoretically, like, maybe not be, let's not be too disrespectful. If you do get a BBL, you do have to put in some work. Yes. It's just not, it's not physical work in the way that you're saying. Mm -hmm. It's not in the gym. It's not in the gym. Can donkey kicks make my butt go that fat down? I'm just wondering. It, it's like going to take some work. Old, like mine specifically. Yeah, not no, <laughs> no, let me tell you. Those, let me tell, you know what helps most? Deadlifts. Producer, doesn't deadlift help you with the glutes and stuff like that? Deadlift leg press. But how extreme is the maker go, makeover going to be if it's just in the no, gym? Whatever, whatever you yes. Said no. <laughs> the producer said it real said strong. No. 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 But you work so with what you good. got. Because mm -hmm. we know, men know, 
for the most part, we look at some, that ass is fake as hell. But Be- y'all still going to enjoy it. Of course we will. I mean, we so got to the I gotta mention it. But again, <laughs> dude, we're going to enjoy it. That's, that's who we are. <laughs> but no, but so I, I appreciate that sentence because by the same token, if I want to go get fat, my fat in my stomach shot into my dick, a bitch gonna appreciate that too. Yeah, she gonna yeah, enjoy she, that too. She not gonna, she not gonna be mad. She not gonna, oh, you got, I can't believe you lied to me. You got a dick enhancement. <laughs> no, I don't want it. No, but that, that dick enhancement was fine when you was climbing the walls. You was over that bitch like Spider-Man. But it's like, but you should have told me about that first. Just like it's, you should have told me about that fake ass BBL that I know you have. Like, you know what I mean? Like, true, true, yes. true. <laughs> and see, that's the other thing. We're talking relationships, and you see her based on who she are, is. Do would I expect her to tell me she has a BBL? I personally, hey. I wouldn't. I would. I, I would find out. I mean, I look at damn. Hey. Her body look a little. She looked tight now. In the hey, beginning, that's, I could have like been that. born like this. Exactly. That's number one. I that, could have been true. snatched, popped, all that. I, yeah. yeah, I could have been born like that. that and and yeah. that, I, we would appreciate that. Mm-hmm. But when we find out. I'm looking like a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, and when we find out, Lashes I would be. just popping and all. And you know, and, that's, and let me say, that's the other thing. We talk about BBL. Women got so much fake shit they can put on nowadays to fake a motherfucker out. It ain't even funny. When I first of all, how BBLs, are you gonna say something like that? Girl, they got fake eyelashes, fake lips, fake lips, hair, lips. Fake, oh, okay, Botox. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, all kinds of fake shit, and it, it it got put Botox in their face and, and fillers in their face and all that shit. There's a commercial mm-hmm. that I saw, which is fucking disturbing. It was a lady. She was. 40, 40, had nine kids. She didn't look like she had nine kids, okay. but she said I had nine kids. She said, I, you know, I got all these kids, I'm running around and everything, and I need to change something. I need to change my look, because I look like I've been old. Well, it took her before and after. She looked the same fucking person to me. But she's like, I feel so better with the, with the Botox, Botox in my face and all this. I just feel so different. And I'm sitting there looking like, you don't spend money to make an enhancement that nobody fucking noticed? I, yeah, I thought she got a what is it a vacation? Like at nine no, kids, I you need something. You, you need to go get that refresh. You, the BBL, BBV, no. whatever the fuck it is. Like, what are you doing? Exactly. So like, it's like I'm thinking like fuck. You know you look don't look any different. So I'm like at forty, you you think it's time to get a Botox at forty? Mm. I mean sixty. Eh, I gotta understand it, but yeah. forty. But women are now going and they're going younger. There's a lot of younger women that's getting Botox. In their twenties, get okay. I need Botox in my twenties. Like, fuck, you haven't stopped growing yet. Oh, I need to get, get boobs. They just send collagen supplements. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 You have a little cream on your face. Okay. Yeah, and I'm and I'm you like, know. you know, and I'm I'm all for enhancement. I'm all for making yourself being the best you can. But at some point, you just had to put the work in to look the best you can. But sometimes you like like I feel like Botox specifically is built for things you cannot tangibly fix. Like mm-hmm. fine lines you, and wrinkles. Fine lines and wrinkles. Yeah, you can use cream and shit, but there's only but you know like cream but only so for, okay. for, for so much. Mm-hmm. So Botox fills in kind of that that gap. I think the problem is is that a lot of people are so busy focusing on Instagram and how like you look on social media and you see all these young girls. You always see like the pretty women and the. The fancy cars and the bright lights and it's and the best look you can capture. Oh, the best! <laughs> the make best. sure you have no bags going in your eyes. You no, know, just make no. sure everything is perfect. Like everything no, got to uh-uh. be perfect. You got filters for every goddamn yeah. thing. That's yeah, put a so filter bad. on top of that. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then when you see the person, like, who the fuck? First of all, <laughs> now that's the part that messes you up. <laughs> that is so true. When you don't like recognize people from Instagram because you're done up every time you drop a photo okay every sure. time you drop a photo sure. so uh, again you you're dealing with the facade of a person you're really not really dealing with mm-hmm. who they are and then when you find out who well you don't really find out who they are you just kind of say you assume who they are and then you want to all of a sudden ingratiate themselves and bring them into your life you know just i don't really fucking know them really you look good smell good mm-hmm. i think all i think I, th- I think i could we can work with each other you don't fucking know her or him Bring them in your world, and all of a sudden you start seeing the the ish that they mm-hmm, got. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And the now representative you look, goes away. There you go. Because now they're in your house. You see them every day. Well, they got to let their hair down. I can't keep a representative on 24 hours. But that's why I said you can't know anybody unless they live in your home. No. You literally I can't. I wouldn't agree Okay, with that. so I'm going to fight that. I'm going to fight that because I'm younger than mm-hmm. both of you. Mm-hmm. I will tell you that I literally don't. The people who I've been the close to are the people who I spent the most time around. Mm-hmm. Right? That's with anybody. You're close to people you spend the most time around. Mm-hmm. The longer, the more time you spend around an individual, the less and less ability they have to hide any of their faults. Mm-hmm. That's just true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you commit to spending? If if you say to me, like, okay, I want to get married to her, mm-hmm. right? And you say, we're not going to live together until we get married. Mm-hmm. How you, you, you might go to her house. She might come to your house, uh-huh. but y'all don't live together, uh-huh. right? Every time she comes to your house, you clean up before she get there. Uh-huh. Okay. Every time you go to her house, she clean up before you get there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Guess what happens when y'all live together? That house dirty as hell now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> because now you're not putting on airs. We live here. Now you get to see my house when it's like all the time. You see that every time I come home and I just take my dogs off and throw them jokes on the floor. I hide that from you when you stop by. All of a sudden, you got your bra hanging over there. Exactly, like you spin it on the, fa- on the ceiling fan. You hang you when you wash your bra, you hang them on the, on the um on the shower shower curtain. shower rack, mm-hmm. right? But when he come over, that shower rack clean. But you still need to clean your bra. So when we live together, now you hanging them jumps up because that's what you've always I'm done. Dead. <laughs> actually move until you live with them i think i think i think i can respect that statement i think from the experience side though i think sometimes it's just not a shocker so if i feel like when i moved in with um my significant other i I don't feel like i learned anything new you know about him like Mm -hmm. there's nothing shocking going on Mm -hmm. um but that it, to experience them a little bit more, yeah, yeah, it's different. Yeah, that's it's di- fair. It's just, that's it's fair to say. Different. It, it really fair. is different because, like I said, when well, your mama, uh, my wife, we got the, we moved in together. It was kind of like we've been dating for so long that we kind of knew each other. Yeah, we definitely, yeah. So you, we knew each other, but then you start looking at certain things like, oh, she don't like this. But be, to be fair for the people who are listening who don't know, because I know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but like how long, you know, mom, how long did y'all date before y'all got married? <laughs> we basically dated, I'm gonna tell you exactly, this, this is honest, honest shit. We started dating in 1988. We got married in 1996. We dated for eight years. Oh, that's significant. Yes, and, and by the time we, you know, we had a, had our son mm-hmm. and everything, but then we got that's. But we knew each other at that point. We knew each other. Yeah. That's why it wasn't like I gotta have a great big wedding. And my wife was like, "Well, I got this beautiful mermaid dress." She's like, "Fuck that." You know, we've been married. We've been basically <laughs> together for eight years. This was fucking get married. I said, okay, it's, it's, it's going to just the peace. Boom. The, and the sun was running around mm-hmm. at that point mm-hmm. because it, it was no facade. It was no, oh, I want to have a big wedding. I want to show. I always dreamed about that. No, fuck no. We, already, we technically are married. Now we're going to make it official. Yeah. And now, boom. And that's since 1996. This is 2023. Now we're looking at 27 years being married. Nice. So, again, we, I can, t- we, both of us can tell you this because we went, th- we walked through this. We're not saying this shit just to tell you, well, you know, if I were you or, or we wrote a book, fuck that. We live this shit. Mm-hmm. Still, we we live still live this. Awesome. We still evolving. We still evolving these relationships. And the other thing, people are like, well, you know, I can't believe you get tired after all this. No, you don't. You just fucking get to know each other differently. You love each other differently. You get tired. <laughs> <laughs> know what his wife is saying about this <laughs> good grief you be well, right right these now, men he right was now, going I'm saying it was listen, beautiful it was, it, was, it was great but I didn't like it and I was like I don't know how she feeling nah damn that some point you do get tired you gotta recharge recalibrate and bring it back together but, but you know we, that's always you yeah. always have to do that because mm-hmm. again you never lose a sense of self either and that's the other thing I feel that in relationships now people always want to give up so much of themselves to be with someone it's almost like 
I love them, mm-hmm. and they want me to change. They want me to change, and maybe I should change because it, it, it makes them happy or they see something in me and I want to change. Now, if you t- you come home, you throw your, your drawers in the middle of the floor, yeah, you should change that. You shouldn't just throw <laughs> your drawers in the middle of my fucking floor. That's some trifling shit. <laughs> yeah. But if she doesn't like because somehow you're a nice person, you help people out, like, for instance, you see a, night, a lady lives next door and her car don't start and you go in and help her start up. And she's like, you're too goddamn nice. You got to helping people move, starting shit up. You don't need to do all that. That's, mm-hmm. This shit got triple A. This shit Stinks have something like that. Core. And you're like, well, damn, that's who I am. Yeah. I, I don't mind help. I, you know, she's a woman. Yeah, okay. I'll help a guy out. Mm-hmm. But okay. To me, that's a problem. Because she's yeah. trying to change the essence of who you are, which is a great quality. I mean, you want to help people. You shouldn't be an asshole. If you can help somebody, you should be able to help them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you got to be aware of a person like that. When a person starts to get in, you di- you fucking with, start to want to change the essence of who you are, Mm -hmm. then you should say, oh, no. That's a warning sign. That's not cute. It's not, oh, look at her being being, being insecure. Oh, that's cute. That's not fucking cute. Mm -hmm. That's that's (laughs) a red flag of things to come. And I think a lot of people just overlook these red flags and just say, you know what? You know, I can overlook that. Well, you make too many concessions until the point where you forget who you actually are. And a lot of you motherfuckers out there are chameleons. Men and women. A lot of them are <laughs> fucking chameleons. Somebody different with every relationship. Yeah, you get motherfucker into. don't even know. It gets to a point where you meet a motherfucker, you're like, I don't even know who the fuck you uh-huh. are anymore. Because when you were with such and such, you were different. Mm-hmm. When you're this person, you're different. Mm-hmm. Because you never had a sense of self. Right. You never, you never loved yourself enough to say, you know, let me learn who the fuck I am, and then accept that. And other things, this baby, this is who I am, and carry on, and carry on. But a lot mm-hmm. of people, they they change, and then they wonder why. They keep going through relationship after relationship, and and they keep saying, "Oh, it's got to be them." No, 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 it's you. No, it's always the man's fault. That's number one. Why I gotta be always the guy's fault? (laughs) (laughs) Why I gotta be always our fault? Why we 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 the innocents in this this situation? Y'all don't want again. Women control relationships because I was gonna say the same thing about the man. The man controls the relationship. No, Why no, would the no. woman want to destroy her own relationships? Here's the if thing. If you're a great guy, you're doing everything great, we're not going to sabotage that, are we? Are, but, you, but you know what? Are we? You, you're all, <laughs> you are we? all, women are always, not you, women are always going to tinker with the man. Just like the guy will tinker with the woman. Mm-hmm. Everybody tickers with each other. Nobody looks at anybody on Facebook and says, oh, she's perfect. I'm, I'm good. You know, Nobody does Try that. Try to do a little something. something. Everybody mm-hmm. does that. Everybody like, you know, hmm, I like this, but I would love it. Let's say if you don't dress, let's say you dress like a Amish woman. Mm-hmm. Nice person, but you dress yeah. like an Amish woman. Real nice. Like, yeah, real nice. I'm conservative like, look. And mm-hmm. if I'm going to do it, I don't want that. I want to see some sexiness. I want to see. You want a little vibrancy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to see, see some legs. I want to see some some shape. Mm-hmm. You may not be comfortable with that because you've been dressed like an Amish woman for the past 20 some years. Yeah. So now that means there's a level within yourself you're going to say, well, he likes that, but I don't feel comfortable with that. Now you have to ask yourself, am I willing to do that or try it and mm-hmm. see what happens? You Step probably will. Of my box. You yeah. probably will. And then he was, oh, I like that. But then you're like, mm, I don't but really it's not like really that. me. Now you have to have that conversation. Here's the issue. Women I don't think I have that conversation. So you know what? You want me to dress this way? I'll dress that way. I don't feel comfortable dressed this way because boom, boom, boom. Mm-hmm. Can I, you know, can we come some halfway? Can we, I maybe get a dress to my knees? Maybe, not, maybe not to my ankle. Right. Maybe to my knees. Right. You don't. I don't. I don't feel women have that real conversation with guys. I, I think. I think there's a lot of truth to that. I think sometimes you will probably appease the the guy just for that moment. Mm-hmm. And. Um, if it don't come up again, you ain't gonna mention it again, right? Just like, hopefully we, you know, we don't gotta worry about this again. Okay. Not wearing that dress no more. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. See how long this relationship lasts? Yeah, yeah. exactly. And you get yeah. you got look at a guy who's dressed like, oh my god, why you gotta wear your work clothes all the time? Mm-hmm. You know, you never dress up. He always wears work shit. Always wear, you know. Nike this or Nike that, like, motherfucker, you got some slacks, you got mm-hmm. some dress shoes, you got something like that. I think women are more adamant about, especially when it comes to parents. Mm-hmm. I feel like women are more adamant about their desires than men. Because we as men, at least I know for myself, was taught, uh, or at least was very clearly shown, uh, we are supposed to sit down and shut the hell up 
in most cases. Um, I might want my wife to not be dressing Amish, but if she dresses Amish, I'm going to have to just accept that shit. But if the vice versa was to happen where, like, oh, I went outside, I was always shirtless. And, like, I had women gawking at me, and I was just like, bro, I just like being shirtless. My wife tells me, like, nigga, put your shirt on. And that's just the end of the conversation. Now, you know. That's the end of the conversation. You know yes, where it is, Mackenzie. See, see. Yes, it is. See? You're not gonna be outside, run, running around the neighborhood with your chest out and got Miss Parker over there. So like, hey, <laughs> hey, boys. Uh, uh-uh. uh. Put your shirt on. Let me go buy you something. You don't got none? Yeah, nah, I go buy you some. See, and, and mm-hmm. see, and, and it's all innocent because we're not really paying attention. Innocent, Miss Parker. Ms. Parker don't got no man. <laughs> And she's coming for my man. She ain't gonna get him that easy. Oh my ah, god! Not gonna make it easy. Yeah. Now put your shirt on. <laughs> See, yeah, that 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 is very true. You, yeah, women will do that. And you gonna say, okay, I put your shirt on mm-hmm. because you don't want no, you don't we don't want no shit. Mm-hmm. We don't want to have no. No, y'all like the shit. Y'all, y'all sit there and pretend like you don't see the shit brewing. <laughs> so if the woman don't want to deal with the shit. The men don't like to admit that the shit is brewing. No. Yeah. No, we don't. Because don't again, that's just, we don't want confrontation. Yes. Uh, men do yes. not want fucking confrontation. If I, if I can just come home, eat food, laugh at you, you look at TV, do what you do, go sleep. That's all I want. Mm-hmm. We don't want no shit like, you know what? We got to talk. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> what, what the fuck did I, I do now? I didn't even know that, that that phrase was like, it's it, it, it always ends with a bad it does it, uh, yeah i pulled it myself one day i said damn even i gotta talk oh this is not a good talk i didn't even know <laughs> no I said wow no, no. Hey, sir, yeah anytime you say i gotta talk it's not uh uh-uh. you it, know it's not gonna go well it, it's not gonna go well mm-hmm. and for us as for men we're just gonna say let me just sit here and listen to this shit <laughs> the other thing we, we selective listen we we ain't gotta tell me. <laughs> oh, I know. You, you know, for us is you know wah, 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 until you say <laughs> money, money, wah, 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 wah. sex, sex, wah, 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 wah. food, food. Uh, oh, okay, what? Then you gonna tune in before they? Yeah, uh, you missed all fuck. of it. Yeah, kids. What the fuck? Yeah, y'all you ain't know. heard the kids part. Money, sex, food. That's it. Yep. Yeah. And after that, it's like okay. And then you, then in my mind, in our mind, it's like okay, what the fuck we need to do to solve this problem so we never to talk about this shit again? Well, so what do you want me to do? And then you'll say, oh, oh, okay. Well, can you do this? Okay. Now, mind you, you may have to rem- remind us again down the road at some point. Cause that's who we are. We're going to roll with you at that moment for a while and then wow. it's going to fade and you know wow. you got to come back and say, so we just agree to just this, this <laughs> and then you just going to totally forget about it? Not forget. Life happened. Other shit happened. Not even going to say forget. I will say as a... As a Y'all didn't care. No, honestly, no, I'm, didn't go, care. I'm going to say <laughs> no, we did not care. No, didn't we didn't want this conversation to be over. But we didn't want to start this conversation. <laughs> I was hurt and I waited all day for you guys to get home and, and I was like, babe. I came in and you had all this emotion and you had all this sadness. I did. And really all you wanted to say to me was, I just wanted to go somewhere nice this weekend. And I'm like, well, dude, why the hell did you just start with that? Because but you done gave me the whole, today I felt real sad. I, I woke up this morning and it was cloudy. <laughs> I saw the rain. I thought, I can't believe it's pouring. Like, I was, they said there was supposed to be sun today. And then the dog, he didn't want to take a dog outside. And he, and I had to go out two or three times with them. And I'm like, okay, so why are we having this whole conversation? To And I just want to go somewhere nice this weekend. Yeah. Okay, we'll go somewhere nice this weekend. Okay, thanks. Well, why the fuck didn't you just start with that? Undeniably a woman. Yeah. Like, I don't know why we couldn't start with that. But no, but, but that's that's just a woman progression yeah. in a conversation because you want us because women are emotional and we want y'all to be able to feel to how feel we're, how you like, felt. I'm trying to bring you in. Yeah, I'm trying. You want us to be empathetic with you yes, and empathy. feel <laughs> that conversation. <laughs> yeah. So like, do you feel the yeah. sadness that I felt? <laughs> now I can't see why I want to go outside. That's, yeah, and yeah. guys are like. Dog, if you just want to go outside, see, you want to go outside. Oh, that's all I needed to do. My bad. That yeah, my bad. That's all you need. <laughs> like, just tell me you want to go outside. <laughs> but that's because guys are very, like, straightforward. Like, if you listen to men conversation, men conversation is not far-reaching. Like, most guys, if you listen to our conversation, we can talk about a 
a whole lot of nothing. Mm-hmm. And when we finished that conversation, we had a great time. We see each other. Catch y'all later, man. You ask us a question, man. What y'all talking about? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, Oz, it, it's the truth. We in on somebody or something. Oh. We honed in on it. Oh. And that was the topic of the discussion that day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah see, we we don't do that. We yeah. we we talk gen- generically. We talk about everything. And, it, and it, let me say this: it goes back to who you're hanging around too. Because mm-hmm. certain group of friends, you're not gonna have certain conversations with. Yeah. Your 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 crew, your 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 inner circle crew. You're gonna talk about everything, family, religion, politics, all that shit. You know, every illness, all that stuff. Because y'all are close, y'all are like this. Mm-hmm. You think it's thieves. Your regular dudes, you're gonna have general conversations. You're not gonna get deep into anything because you're like, I don't want everybody know my fucking business. When you're with your crew, because you guys talk about everything, if somebody asks you then later, what did y'all talk about? The answer always ends up being nothing. Yes. Because, because in the grand scheme, there was no real central topic. No. For women, if I ask if I ask a group of women who are saying together, stuff what were y'all talking about? Talking about. Mm-hmm. Y'all got Oh no, <laughs> so see Susie over here. Yeah, because I gotta sell it. I yep. got it, because I can't tell you what we was really talking about. So I'm gonna go off on a tangent and create a whole conversation that we was talking about. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. So and, uh-huh, because that's what Susie had did. Yeah. And let me tell you what else she did. Yeah. And babe. And that's what y'all babe. About. There you go. Mm-hmm. And, and and you know what the other thing while we talk about relationships, here's the thing. I'm I'm gonna say this. <sighs> women, do not fucking talk about your relationship to other women because they could be watching and waiting for it to be in that number one spot. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to move up into your little spot. Yeah. Wow. Think about it. You you hear around a, a bunch of women, relationships ain't going too well. Yours is doing pretty well, except for you had this little bump in the road. Yeah. Then, so but now, the, but you they seen the relationship. They ain't got nobody. Mm-hmm. Get, getting guys falling off the side. Getting guys falling off the side. And then you come and say, you know what? This motherfucker just acting crazy now. And this what? What's going on? Mm-hmm. Going to cook every day. Mm-hmm. Girl, I can't. You working now? I don't know why he keeps making you want to cook every day and he shit. Cooked, he 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 worked too. I you work too. He need to cook too. Yeah. And you also you're like, I don't, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna. I'm gonna be fucking around with him. I'm gonna talk to him about it, but I ain't gonna do that. Now, what you've just done, when you say I'm a, we're going I, I'm not gonna do it, then they hear like, hmm, he take his family, nice looking guy, mm-hmm. make good money. Didn't this just happen on the TV show? I didn't see it through, but this just played out in the shy. Hmm. Did you, are you watching I, that? I haven't watched it. I love that TV show. See? Okay, the baby mother, she's pretty. Mm-hmm. Super pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she told the baby father, now nah, I'm good. I need to date other people now. I'm over you. Her best friend, she told it to her best friend, who used to sleep with her boy too, which is weird and bizarre. Mm-hmm. But he's a very family-oriented guy, and she has a baby. She went right back to the old boy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, are you done with him? You don't care who he dates? Okay. See? And, and see, mm-hmm. that that's what, mm-hmm. see, and that is, and then what happens is when you fuck up, mm-hmm. and you're like, you know, fuck him. And you would look around and say, God damn, that bitch. She fuck with my man. Yeah. That trifling out. Now, one thing guys don't do, we'll 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 talk about something, but we're never gonna talk about the relationships like you know my girl, this my. Okay. We just we okay. we don't do that. Okay. We, okay. If you have a general issue, that. yeah, we, but we're not gonna talk about that because again, you don't. It, bros don't just bang other bros girls. It's just that's just an unwritten rule that should be just. When when I hear people say, "Yeah, I, I bang," you know, such and such. Wait a minute. A boy, girl. Oh, you know, ain't going together no more. She, 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 she free agent he now. He didn't help himself. He was you, on standby that's for bro code. twenty you don't years. Fuck around. <laughs> Producer, do you fuck around with another man's woman? If they, if, if they broke up, do you mess around with another? Do you mean what, what I've seen, or do you want my personal answer? I want to know how far away this friendship has to be to make it okay. My thinking is this: if you are close enough to me. That when you and your girl were like together, I was ex- actually happy for you as my friend to get with this girl. Then no, I'm not gonna talk to her. Mm-hmm. If I had no clue that y'all was talking to each other, then like you showed up with her one day and you were like, "Oh, this is my girlfriend," and like I've never known you, and I only hang out with your your with him, and then you kind of dance on singing like, "Man, I broke up with her." If she was fine, I might let it slide. I myself would say, like, okay, cool, because I don't really know you. 
So, and I don't really know y'all relationship. And he never really talked about y'all. So to me, you were just kind of an accessory on his arm that day. And that's because there's no real connection. Because it's, it's all about, to me, it's all about the connection. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I knew friends who, like, when my man's got with his girl, I was ecstatic for him. Because I was like, hey, man, I know you, you, you I know what the shit you went through mm-hmm. with your last girl. I know mm-hmm. she treats treat you right. I know she treats you like some trash. And then this girl pulled up. If y'all happy, cool. If they broke up, I'm not talking to her. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking to her. Because I'm like, man, how'd you mess that up? Because I know my man's is hurt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's me. I know niggas who will say, hey, man, the moment you, y'all broke up, is she free reign? <laughs> yeah. It just, yeah. I can't dictate what the next man does with his. Nope. All I know is that if I put my head down at night and I close my eyes, I got to live with my decisions. And regardless of how anyone else feels about it. So if I can close my eyes and think, yeah, y'all was close, but God, I'm really happy I'm with her. Then that's just how I'm going to move. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, I got to live my own life. I can't, you are you are not her property and she's not your property. Mm-hmm. It's like if one of her friends wants to holler at you, I'm not going to be like, bro, that's her friend. I'm gonna just- got a lost shot, damn mind. No. No. Females, bitch, he's mine. And he ain't even mine no more. He ain't even mine since 97. You better not touch him. You better not touch him. God damn. Yeah, for a lifetime. If I touched him, he's off limits for life. A whole lifetime. And I might have touched him at. This might be grade school. If he used to. If we got married. And the playground at the slides, he's even off limits. God yeah. damn! Yeah, 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 yes. yeah. Yep, yep. If I if I had a crush on him in sixth grade, you can't date him. You got me bent. You got me bent. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And we're dead serious. We're, we'll break up friends. No, we're not. We're not friends. Technically, you and your friends as females shouldn't even like the type, the same like look of a man. No. Uh, that's how, yeah. That's how we all friends and stay friends for a lifetime. You. Yeah, got no, you. we don't even like the same type of man. Uh, uh-uh, uh, we good. Damn. Yeah. That, 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 <laughs> yes. And we are dead serious. If I had a crush on him in fourth grade, leave him alone. He's still mine. He's still mine. It'd be four. I'd be forty-seven. God He'd damn. He'd still be mine. Yeah, I'm still claiming him. Bitch, you say what? You see, you seen who on Facebook? You better not send him no message. Oh, you know he's still mine. Oh yeah. no. Yeah, that's. We ain't playing that game. Nah. Wow. Uh-uh. Yeah, owned damn. them. Owned them. Owned them in third grade. <laughs> God damn. That's mine. I don't care if you're married. But uh-uh. You better not holler at uh-uh. Girl, you know we got married in fifth grade? Uh-uh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he off limits. <laughs> 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 he off limits. No, it's just amongst your friend group. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Like my good friends? Yeah. Nah. You ain't, you ain't but you know what I think that has to do with a little bit? It goes back to kind of like the conversation that we were just having about the conversations we had. Like, mm-hmm. women lean to each other whenever they have any issues with their man, yeah. with their whatever. Yeah. So, in essence, I told you the inner workings. In essence, it's like you go to a different company. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they tell you, like, nah, whatever the hell you do here, like, you sign an NDA, like, no matter what you did at, at Apple, you can't take none of that shit to Google with you. Yeah. 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 Like I you, we at Apple together. Yeah, trade secrets. Exactly. Trade you secrets. Said, I done told you trade secrets. Too much information, girl. That is so true. No. Nah, you yeah. Yeah. Because I didn't give you I didn't give you the blueprint on how to be successful. Yeah, maybe that's so true. now it's like I, I helped you bag him and and I don't I don't fuck with that. Yeah. yeah I feel like that's yeah. really what it is. Like I, I gave you the blueprint on how to, to lock him down. So I done told you how he love lasagna and I yeah. told you how, you know, he his favorite cologne. Because yeah. we're having these conversations, and then you go to holler at him. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I told you the, the cologne he liked because we probably rolled out to to, to the Macy's together gotcha. on that day to go get it, and so you knew it was his birthday. Because I said, "Girl, come on, it's his birthday. Uh-huh. Ride with me to the Macy's to go get the favorite cologne." And you wrote like you got insider information. The other part to that though, when we break up with a man, we want him to suffer, right? <laughs> <laughs> Generally God speaking. Damn. So so this- what are you doing trying to go make his day? Oh, You're on the wrong team, my shit. dear. You're on the wrong team. So the man can't just leave and bow his head bow gracefully. He has to suffer. That's what we want. Well, we want him to hurt as much as we hurt. And, 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 y'all, and the thing is, being a woman hurt, they might hurt the exact same. We just handle it different. 
Yeah, and I don't even like the way y'all hurt because it don't even look like hurt. Yeah. So I yeah. need for you to hurt a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> see, we see. We intro feet. Nah, he ain't hurting enough. Uh-uh. You see, because I'm hurt, hurt. It be all up in your face. You ain't got no sleep. The man be a... Nah, he hurting, but it just don't look the same. No, his hurt yeah. is when he in the car. Uh, he gets in the car, and he's just sitting, he's driving, all of a sudden, the, the song y'all love together pop, pop on, and he's sitting there like, damn, he should be up a song. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's me, on your brain, yeah. No, oh, yeah. and you just, and, and again, you just like, what the, what the fuck, I gotta get this out of my mind, because now, you start thinking everything y'all did together. It's called do better. You shouldn't have did her that way. Do better. That's what I told you. Men ruin all the relationships. No, we ain't grow apart. We didn't grow apart. Nah, you ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> oh God damn! You so we don't so we don't purposely broke we your heart. We were in fifth grade. We didn't grow apart. You ruined it. You ruined it. When we God made damn. it. <laughs> damn. Now that's the toxic. Oh mm. Lord. Then, then then at that point that means women need to find a better way of handling hurt disappointment yeah and that, that's the other so like today's woman doesn't even make sense to me like you're overexposed to too many men like it's just too much like <laughs> so, that's why we all cold and bitter like, that. like you had too much rejection you had too many run-ins yeah you've been dating since like first grade what are you doing oh. God damn, and and you're right, and your body count starts to grow, and, and not even just having sex, just your body count, mm-hmm. dealing with people you're dealing with, and then you, if it doesn't work out, now you starting the bitterness coming. Yeah, you start getting okay. more and more jaded because the more and more people you run into, mm-hmm. and and that's just, it's like <laughs> as a completely unrelated but related analogy, it's like winning a, a championship. Like okay, you win the NBA title the first time, right? Cool. You full full on tears, like snot bubbles. Second time you win it, full on tears, but the snot's not there. Third time you win a championship, okay, cool, like eyes are watering, but like I'm happy. Fourth time you won a championship, yeah, we won. Fifth time you won a championship, of course we did. Sixth time, like and the more and more you win a championship, the less and less impressed you become of it because you keep achieving the same goal. That now you try to find different ways. Like obviously the journey will always change, but the end result still the same. Like you won the championship. Yes. As a woman or as a man, like the more and more people you deal with, and it, every time it breaks up, like the feelings of that change. The first break up the hardest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. But if you yep. break it up like ten or twelve times, by by like. Time number 13, you just like, all right, whatever. Yep. Like, y'all broke up, you're all right, yeah, that's what it is. You go right to club, you find someone else new. But those people can never, will never find what you two have found. Mm-hmm. Because you keep trying and you keep failing. Mm-hmm. But you're not taking the time to find out why you failed. There you go. The time. It goes back to, we're just so quick to jump back on the horse. Mm-hmm. You fall off the horse. And, and you jump back on. Off, back you, you jump back on. But you never know why the fuck no you fell off the horse. No self No, none. I fell off the horse. Shit, you ain't really give yourself no time to heal. <laughs> no, you bleed and shit. <laughs> you just jump back on. Up. You still on the horse, fall off again. Mm-mm. What the hell going on? But if you stopped. Yes. And looked, well, what are you, well, what are you fuck are you doing? Mm-hmm. And then make that change. Here's an example. We was heading to the gym. And... <laughs> first time I've, I've ever seen it but someone's getting married at the mall and, 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 okay. first and time I ever heard of it first time I ever seen it so it was funny because the the bride beautiful bride but she was a little heavy set okay um and somebody was in the gym and said you saw the wedding I said yeah I saw him outside I, said, oh, I can't believe she got married I said why not is that how big she is and I was, and I said, <laughs> was, she, was she slim? Let me just. Mm-hmm. She, she ain't have She's a like, man. Nope. I, I love she was it. like, I, I, I don't know how. Why she? How she get a man? And the first thing I said was this: She knew exactly who she was, and she found a man that loved her for exactly who she mm. was. Basic, basic. Simple as that. Simple I said, as that. 
if women and men understand that. And she wasn't hating on somebody else because you're over here hating on old girl. You mad at me because hating. you think I look better than her. Why don't I have someone? Bingo. Don't have a clue what their relationship really entails, though. You don't know that she could have she been thin as hell before you met her. She could have always been the same size, but when they met each other, he was at, his, at, at a great spot. And he was like, man, I've always liked her. It could have been somebody she just met at work. You have no clue what bonds. Men create bonds with women that far exceed looks yep. in a lot of cases. Like a guy, meaning, uh, yeah, again, yeah, they always say men find an attractive woman, blah, 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 blah. No, men find a woman who makes them comfortable. If you make mm -hmm. me comfortable, if I can come to you and I find joy and I find happiness and I don't feel stressed, being in your presence you will win over the fine ass girl who always drives me up a fucking every wall single every time. single time. Mm -hmm. She could have found the guy who was like, you know, I love her for who she is. Guess what, bitch? You might look good, but you might have a stank ass attitude. Oh, I think that's what ends up happening. Hello. Like, what they say? You're a single mother by choice. Who mm -hmm. doesn't know? Know what? You decided to deal with a child only as opposed to a man. That's yep. got to be. That's got to be some. Oh damn, y'all! Hold on. This, <laughs> yes, y'all fought. It's y'all fought. But that got. To, I gotta admit it. That got to be some of us right there. Ouch! Ouch! Come on, ladies. Damn, y'all. Yes. Trying to be a winner. Yes, I, <laughs> be I, a winner again. And all I all I saw was, why not me? Mm, hey, that broad is and, a and, and, hater. And it gets you nowhere. And, and it's sad because I'm like, if you change your attitude. Mm. If you did a slight paradigm yeah. shift, you probably be in a different spot. How about I go congratulate her? Ask her. So how did it happen for you? Ask a question. How did you know? Ask, just how long y'all been together? There you go. Something. Something. Rather than looking can at her. We always start with congratulations. Yes. Not why not me? <laughs> why not? Me? But why not say why not me? Why can I not achieve what she has? Yes. And instead of looking at it as a well, I have this, right, and she doesn't have this, and I have this, she doesn't have that. How about you know, man, maybe, maybe I might ask the guy I used to be with, like, why did we break up? No, let me do you one better. What was the favorite dish that I made for you? <laughs> What's what, what dish did I make that you love the most? What thing did I do that attracted you to? Me? <laughs> as opposed to the negative. Because ah. some men don't like giving negative information. No, no, we don't. Right? No, no we don't. And we don't. And we don't. I'm going to be honest with y'all. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I agree with, like, the you need to know the positives, but by the same token, you can't grow unless you don't. No, my thing is that it might have been a blank. Mm. It might have been just a blank. Mm. Like, That's ask true. some things. And if he can't tell you anything about some of those things that you're asking, like, you know, how did I kind of cater to you? You know, what the, what things that I do to to you to make you feel pampered? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. And if he, bitch, you didn't pamper me. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I left. That's you know, why my ass going now. He ain't never touched me unless we was in the bedroom type of stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Wow. Sometimes the man can say nothing because there was that that just didn't occur. You never yeah. created a dish that he coined as his favorite. You never yeah. took the time out to f figure out how to pamper him. Um, because we're so busy thinking, what does Angel call it? The best girlfriend? Like, I'm, I, know, I'm the, I know I'm the best girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, we're so busy caught up on ourselves sometimes, right? That like, no, I know I got this. And somehow you're there alone, but you had it. What just happened? And there's a lot of them alone. Mm -hmm. A lot of them. And they just did do that whole play of this shit. Like, why why them and not me? Nobody wa nobody wants to do the, the dirty work. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to look at the look <laughs> at yourself without all the masks and say, Why am I here? And outside of that, marriage is work. It's always work. Meaning you want somebody to take care of you, right? Mm-hmm. But you gotta take care of me too. It's a two way shoot. It's a two-way street. I, I told <laughs> this is so true, and T, let me say this. I said this to someone a while ago, and I said, wifey doesn't want for anything. He's like, I know that's right. I said, no, no, you understand. I make sure wifey is, wifey is accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So I have to make sure that lifestyle continues. Mm -hmm. He said, damn, 
I ain't never heard anybody say that before. Mm-hmm. I said, hmm, that means you have to really know who you are to be comfortable enough to say that we are such we are such a unit that I'm going to make sure you feel comfortable at, at all times. And just like we, if I feel uncomfortable, you will make me feel comfortable. That For some reason, when you gave that line to whoever you gave it to, mm-hmm. I feel like they received it and felt like it wasn't reciprocated. Yes. Right? Yes. It sounds <laughs> like, like it sounded like only you provided a certain level of care to your woman with exclusivity, and it was a period at the end of that statement, right? Yes. They didn't understand that it was a dot 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 or a comma after that. Yes. 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 Like I am accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Mm-hmm. That she provides for me as well. Exactly. Yeah. So you know when because when, but by the same because that's the sentence. What you said was the sentence that you think constantly. Mm-hmm. My wife is accustomed to a certain lifestyle. My son is accustomed to a certain lifestyle. My family as a whole is accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Mm-hmm. By the same token, we know that whatever we do on a day, we make sure that we try to make your life just as easy mm-hmm. and as effortless mm-hmm. as you make ours. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Because that's what you're supposed to do. Before if back. you get you give back, mm-hmm. it's a constant ebb and flow. People don't understand that it's a two-way street mm-hmm. at all. And I like that, because that's from the son's perspective, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so when we speak about how the, uh, the, the issue is with parenting and the men, Sometimes the men have a problem with pouring into the kids, and I get it. Because when you send a child support check out to somebody, mm-hmm. you're pouring into a household, into mm-hmm. a child mm-hmm. who don't pour back into you, mm-hmm. who don't give you nothing back. Mm-mm. That's a hard thing to wrap your head around. Yes. Because yes. Because it is all of these relationships flow in both directions. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter if it's a child, it's your wife, it's Whoever you're pouring into, yes, you would expect for something to flow back out in your something. direct. Something. It's not the same. No. It's never going to be the same. Nope. Like what you give to your wife, your wife is not giving that back. That's that would be weird. Yes. That no. would be weird. Exactly. You gonna come bring me sugar? I come. I'm gonna give you sugar too. Nigga, where's some lemons at? We need some lemons. <laughs> yes. We're trying to make something to drink. We don't all need to bring sugar to the table. No. Where's no. the Kool-Aid packets at? Let <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me bring the picture. Where's something? Yes. Yes. And then we got a family. Yes. That's what the family does. Somebody get the Kool-Aid packets. Somebody else get the water. Somebody else, that's normally the picture. He's going to hold everything together. <laughs> yes. And the mom is the sugar sweet and the whole thing. <laughs> yes, that's what that's yeah. what happens. But people don't understand that because they can't open their minds outside of this. Oh, this little small sentence that I said. But yeah. this, never seen it. Well, we know uh, you've never seen it. Yes, we know a lot of people have never seen it, but you're aware that it exists, mm-hmm. and you're not opening up your mind to receive it to say, "Hold on, I'm here." Yes, this is not where I want to stay. The average person, yo, if your wife is not serving you. The way that you're serving her, that's not a good place to stay. How long are you gonna live there for? You won't. You you'll be there long enough until you find someone to replace her. Yes, that makes that's, you feel that, better. That's a, yes, that makes you feel like she's pouring back into you. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and a lot of people are they don't know how to how to manage it. And they never like like producing. Yeah, never no, seen they it never before. seen it. We we defined that last year. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, that y'all is so missed true. a lot of lessons. Oh my God! Yes, please go back and this look at this. Year, go back to 2022 and look at all of these lessons that we, we're talking about today in 2023. Because it's nothing has changed. It's just another year. Mm-hmm. But that that's the thing when I, I talk to. For me, I, I think of myself now as the learning tree. Okay. And for me, it's not about in, in which I I hate I hate a lot of older people and how they fucking think because it's almost like. You know, I went through this and I survived, and you gonna survive, and you figured it out and shit. No, that's not the way life should be. Mm-hmm. If you have information, you you should be passing on some knowledge, which yeah, means the knowledge tree. You sit, you, you have a tree there. Somebody asks you a question, you should take the time out and ask that question and answer that question based on not telling them what the answer is, but giving them information to make the right decision. Because I do not know how you live your life. Yes. What I can do is give you the core values that you should have no matter if you're 20, 40, 60, 70. If I, if I give you this core value, 
and you stick around this, mm -hmm. you'll learn from this, and you make the decisions based on that core. Yeah. That's why I, I love talking to the young. Teaching I love the kids talking to, to the kids. I love talking mm -hmm. to people. I don't like talking to older people. Oh, they know. They already know what they're talking about. No, every, every fucking every. thing. That's why their life's so <laughs> fucked up. And then they then they playing these young kids out here doing all kinds of crazy shit. And we never do that shit was going no, up. We did. Everybody did. Everybody did. And, up. and then the kids didn't want. Oh, oh, fucking old ass bitch don't know what the fuck you talking about. Mm -hmm. Telling what. The, now that you blew them off because mm -hmm. now you're going to chastise them, you're going to tell them how stupid they are and they're young and dumb and they don't know no shit. And to me, it's like, that's a good way to run away the next generation. That's why they don't want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. If you sit that's there. That's why they don't respect you. They don't have no fucking respect mm -hmm. for you. And I hear. <laughs> because you didn't give them respect. A lot of people thought they're just supposed to respect their elders. Halt. Hmm. Halt. Your elders respected you first. Believe it or not. And I know it's a hard concept to wrap our heads around because we say, oh, respect your elders. The first person to give me respect besides my mom and dad had been my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. She, she would have instilled respect in me because she would have been giving it to me. Yes. Yes. So that's how you respected your elders because they definitely gave you respect. They'd be one of the first people to give you your respect. The, and if you can't reciprocate that, you have a large problem. Oh, this is true. And, and let's step back while you say that. Growing up, well, growing up now, it's totally different. You can't put your hands on your kids because, you know, the laws and shit change. But when I was growing up, they didn't mind putting their hands on you. No, I don't put my hands on my kids. I don't care about y'all laws. <laughs> my kids step out of line, they already know. So, oh, Lord. So, yeah. Now, now, Not my on. hands, but my hands going to grab something. Oh, okay. I'm not going to hurt myself. No, 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 no. That, that's that's what you used to take. You used to go get, go ahead and get the switch and yeah, bring yeah. the switch in here. No, give me so a belt. Your ass. Yeah. The one thing I always say, whenever I got my ass whipped growing up, and I got my ass whipped a lot, mm -hmm. a little, little badass oh, kid. Oh, we remember. Yes, a little badass <laughs> kid growing up. They always told me why my, my grandmama always, God rest her soul, she always, I know I'm going to get ass whipping. I know this one fucked up. She's going to tell me why you do that. And I always had that, because I wanted to. Okay. Well, I'm gonna whip, I'm gonna whip your ass. That was the answer. You yeah, did it because you to. wanted to. Now, when I said that in my mind, my mind said, "Oh Lord," and I my, and my brain froze because I knew what you just did when you said that to her. It meant, oh, you don't give a fuck. Yeah. So, I'm like, so you ain't give a fuck. So she get this little switch. She said, you, "Now, you're not stupid. Mm -hmm. You try me a badass." <laughs> So, <laughs> you know me, by the time I'm sweating and shit, all of a sudden my stomach feels all, I got to go bathroom. Yes. She ain't going nowhere. She going to explain to me mm -hmm. that you just don't do shit just because you want to do it. Yeah. Because they have repercussions for that shit. That's called respect that she gave you. And you're mm -hmm. not going to go out here act a goddamn fool and up in jail, do some stupid shit that's going, yep. that I have to come and bail your ass out because you're a child. Yep. I'm going to have to be responsible for you. Yep. I don't raise irresponsible kids. So... I'm gonna beat it out of you. So take that switch. She explained it to me. That's 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 I love it. And the ass whipping <laughs> was legendary. I think one ass, like I said, one ass whipping. I think I I passed out. I think I saw myself hovering over my body. Said, and I think the hand said, "Not yet, my son." And I went right back. <laughs> I got up like, "Oh Lord!" I thought I almost went to the Lord. I said, "Oh no!" I think she beat the beat my soul uh, out of me. And I I said, "Oh shit!" You went to sleep after that. I man. went to sleep. So you know, again, we we have to understand that if people aren't feeding information to you that's usable, mm -hmm. that no matter who it is, mm -hmm. mother, father, uncles, aunts, all these people, you need to go search for it because yeah. the answer is not going to come to you by just Googling it. You have to do the work. You have to add, open your mouth and ask the questions like, how do I do better? How, how do I solve situations? How do I find a better mate? How do I do this? How can I be happier? How? You have to ask, you have to go searching for this. Yes, you have to go you to the learning trees. And, it, and we're just we're just two learning trees. Mm -hmm. There's other learning trees out there. But we're hoping to say, hey, stop by our learning tree. We're not trying to hurt you. We want, you, we want to help you. We want you to down the road to raise better fucking kids. Mm -hmm. You be better. You be happier. I want you to make better decisions. Um, do better. With, do better. <laughs> that's how you make better decisions, right? Do fucking better. <laughs> and, you know, and just open your mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, again, if you, ask us. If you have a question, any question regarding life in general, send it to us and we'll get back to you. Because we're not just a fountain of information. Just say, well, you know what well, I know, but the fuck it, you figure it out.
We want you to, to, to do better. We want you, we want to take that extra step out of it and just go ahead and do better. And here's the other thing. I don't want you to go, well, I don't, well, you better tell somebody that I help you. This is the beauty of legacy building. You tell people information because you want them to do, you to do for somebody else that we did for you. Pay it and, forward. Pay it forward. That's all. Just, just, just be better, you know, and, you know, I, information is meant to be shared. It, yes, <laughs> it's meant to be shared. Absolutely. And you have to learn. We're in the information era. You have it's, to be. It's, it's king. It, it's always king. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and like I said, 2023, we're going to talk about a lot of things. Um, we're going to talk about a lot of difficult things. Um, but we'll talk about that a little later on because later on we're going to tell you about some new things that's happening. But, um, I, I again, I, I don't want to keep talking about people getting better or people saying I wish you could find the answer we try to give you the answer but you have to open your mouth you have to want to search you got to move your body around you got to make a different choice make a different movement and do something different to get something different yes and don't look at other people and ask other people why they why they happy I'm not happy well they fucking found happiness Mm -hmm. you just haven't found it yet but once you find who you are you'll be able to find happiness it won't be elusive it'll be like oh it's right there you can find and you can, you'll be able to find it. Everyone can find happiness. You just have to find happiness within yourself first. With that, we're going to end today's session of On the Mic with the M. And T. And listen, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. You can reach Ma at on at on overcome to become at on Instagram. And T, how we be how we see you? Trust underscore city on Instagram. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen. A pleasure as always. We'll be back soon. Peace and blessings. Take care of yourselves. Oh, by the way, happy goddamn New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> all right, love. I'll catch all y'all peoples later. You whip up my appetite.